seeing a lot more people uh, turning to this as their main form of transportation. There will soon be a new way to get around the lower mainland after the province approved a pilot project that will allow electric scooters to legally cruise streets and bike paths in several municipalities. One of the biggest things holding back the industry at this point is the fact that it's a little bit of a, a gray area as to where people can ride them right now. So having clear legislation going forward will definitely help um, people feel more confident on this and as well being able to get out in a boat and be more socially distanced, uh, staying away from things like public transit. The pilot project will test the safety and feasibility of electric scooters as transportation in Vancouver, West Vancouver, North Vancouver City and District, Kelowna and Vernon. The rules of an e-scooter are the same as an e-bike. Riders must be 16 or older, wear a helmet and follow the rules of the road for cyclists. A driver's license and insurance are not required. It's definitely very exciting news. Um, we've been advocating for this for the past few years. While motorized scooters are not currently allowed to cruise on roads, businesses that sell them say they have been gaining popularity. Over the last couple of years, electric vehicles in a whole are really catching on. Now that the pilot project is going to be in place, I, I can definitely see a lot more interest. Amendments to the BC Motor Vehicle Act in 2019 allowed communities to collaborate with the province in the three-year pilot project. But before e-scooters can legally be used on roads, local governments must pass their own bylaws, specifying where they can be used. I expect that we're going to be um, recommending to council where, you know, where the, the, the current uh, non-powered uh, skates, skateboards and scooters are permitted, uh, that they would be permitted in these same areas. So like on the local streets, streets that don't have like a, a lane line on them, like a yellow or a white line, uh, and, and of course are separated uh, bike facilities. The city of Vancouver is hoping to launch a trial of privately owned e-scooters by the summer. People want to use these devices and we're going to see more of them with, with the wet weather permitting that. So we're going to want to get this out as quickly as possible uh, over the next few months. But Vancouver City Councillor Sarah Kirby-Young says not including a trial for shared e-scooters is a missed opportunity for Vancouver. I'm disappointed that it is limited to privately owned devices only um, and that we are not piloting a shared program which makes it more affordable and I think accessible for a lot of people. A similar pilot project in Calgary wrapped up last year. After addressing safety concerns like reckless driving, Calgary Council voted in January to continue private sector shared e-bike and e-scooter services. In Vancouver, city staff will monitor potential safety concerns. We'll be working with uh, police enforcement and, and of course our partners in health and ICBC to monitor, you know, whether or not there's any safety concerns. In Vancouver, Miranda Fatour, City News.